Hey guys, Nintendo here. For many of you collectors out there, video game subscription boxes might seem like a great way to continue building your library of titles without ever leaving the house. But are they really worth the price of entry, and how much value can you expect to see from these services every month? Well, in this video, I'll do my best to answer these questions. Today, I will be unboxing four months worth of subscription boxes from Retro Game Treasure. I'll show you how to quickly and accurately find game values, and I might even share a few game hunting tips and tricks along the way. So, let's get to it. All right, let's get started. Now, as I mentioned, I have four months worth of boxes from Retro Game Treasure to open today. Now, full disclosure, these boxes were provided to me for free, but this video is not sponsored and I will be evaluating them based on the standard monthly price of $35. I don't know exactly what's in these boxes, but we are going to go through the prices in real time to figure out if it's really worth that price tag. Now, Retro Game Treasure specifically lets you put in requests for certain items as well as your current game library to avoid sending any duplicates. So I actually went through, believe it or not, and cataloged every game in my collection just to really put that guarantee to the test. And I also added in some wishlist items, so we'll see how well they actually took that into account. All right, so let's dive into this first box and see what we've got. All right, get some of the packing materials out of the way. And it looks like first up we have a copy of Atlantis for the Atari 2600. Now if you've never done this sort of thing before, the way that we can figure out the value of each of these games is by using what's known as a price charting website or app. My favorite option is to use the website pricecharting.com. And as their website says, they have current and historic prices for pretty much every video game under the sun. So we're gonna take a look at this Atari 2600 game Atlantis and see what our value is looking like so far. We'll just type in Atlantis, and you can see there's a whole bunch of options for this one, but we're going to pick this one up here near the top, the Atari 2600. And it looks like the current loose price is $5.29. So we'll go ahead and add that to our counter. I was thinking this might be the case, but now I'm looking back at it and I can see I put Atlantis for the Atari 2600 on my wish list. So that's pretty cool to see that the first title is one that I specifically requested. So that's good to know that they at least are taking that into account, I guess. Let's see what else we have. I see we have a Famicom game here. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but based on the box art, I'm going to guess this is the Goonies for NES uh, based on the film of the same name. Now, confession time, I haven't actually seen the film itself. I just know of the NES game, but I'm going to assume from the kids on the box art here that that is what we're looking at. Yep, looks like we've got a match for the box art here. And that one is going for $10 loose. So we've already got a pretty big bump in value just from this one game. I just got a Famicom, the Japanese version of the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, so I only have a few titles. So that's pretty cool to be able to start expanding out that little subset of the collection. All right, so here is our third game. Now, this is the first one that appears to be in an aftermarket case. Okay, so we've got the Generator Volume 2 for Dreamcast. So this is a not-for-resale demo disc, some demos of upcoming Dreamcast games at the time. It looks like we've got playable demos of Sonic Adventure, Tomb Raider The Last Revelation, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Rayman 2, Dead or Alive 2, lots of good titles, pretty cool stuff. And once again, I know from what I put into the survey, uh, they are taking my interest into account because I said, if I look back here, what did I say? I said, demo slash kiosk slash not for resale discs and cartridges are especially interesting. That was the first thing that I put under my wish list notes. So that's pretty cool that it seems like they're very interested in trying to uh, customize this for your individual preferences. And it looks like Generator Volume 2 goes for $4.84 loose. So that's another about $5 added to our value. Cool stuff. I actually don't have any of the generator discs yet, but now I do. And it looks like in the bottom of our box to round off the list is a copy of Crash Twin Sanity for the original Xbox. Now let's go ahead and open it up and see. Okay, so now this one is not complete. This is just a loose copy with the case. So that is going to affect the value a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can look that up. So usually sites like this will track stuff like the loose, complete, and new prices. So new being sealed. Uh, in this case, I wouldn't value this quite as high as a complete copy because it does not have the manual, but it is worth a little bit more than the loose disc, of course. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two prices and get the average between the two of them just to kind of approximate what the value of this specific copy might be. It looks like a complete copy is going for $16 and a loose copy is going for just under 12 here. But let's see what that comes out to. 11.52, 16.13. So it looks like this copy of Crash Twin Sanity is worth about $13.82. That's what I'm gonna use for this specific uh, test or this valuation. So now that we have unboxed all of the titles in our first box, let's see how the value stacks up. We have got Atlantis for the Atari 2600, a loose copy, which is $5.29. The Goonies for Famicom, worth $9.99. A loose copy of Generator Volume 2 for the Sega Dreamcast, worth $4.84. And finally, a copy of Crash Twin Sanity for the Xbox, which we are approximating is going to be worth about $13.00. And 82 cents, which gives us a grand total of $33.94. Very, very close to that monthly price of $35, although we are just short of that mark. So the first box, kind of a miss, although it's really skirting that line. We're just about a dollar under the monthly price of $35. But we're just getting started, so let's go ahead and get into the second month of Retro Game Treasure goodies. Now this second month is for February, uh, although it's not so much of a secret, I guess, because I was actually outside of the standard box for obvious reasons. But this appears to be a sealed PlayStation 3 camera. That's pretty cool. So it's nice to know that you can also get accessories with these sort of subscription boxes too. I wasn't sure about that. It's nice to see that we can also find some basic accessories as well. I actually do not have a PlayStation 3 camera. Good stuff. We're gonna have to figure out how much this is worth though. So if I go over and look at price charting, there is a page for the PlayStation I for PS3, but unfortunately it looks like there really isn't enough pricing data here to give it a fair value. It looks like a new camera is valued right now at $6.02, but there's only one sale per year that they're taking into account for that pricing data. So in this case, I'm gonna show you how you can try to find the value of a game or accessory if there isn't enough data. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to a new tab and head over to eBay, and I'm going to search for the PlayStation Eye Camera PS3. Over here on the left side, I'm gonna scroll down and go to sold items. So this is going to show only listings which actually sold at their price. We are also going to check the box which indicates that this is in new condition because this PSI camera is sealed. All right, see now this is looking a little bit more like it. Price charting seemed to indicate that this was worth only about $6, but looking at eBay, I see quite a few listings for more than 10. So let's go ahead and add a few of those together and average out the price to see what the value of this thing actually is. Now I was gonna just do five just to have a small sample set here, but now I see right below it, we've got one that's going for eight bucks. In all fairness, let's, let's go for six. We're gonna take the last six cameras in this condition that sold on eBay. Altogether, it looks like that comes out to an average of $15.56. So that is already almost half of the value of our box and we haven't actually opened it yet. So that's really good to see. I'm excited that I've got a new accessory to add to the collection that I did not have before. Now let's actually get into the second box proper. Okay, all right. First things first, I see a Game Boy Advance copy of Tetris Worlds. Classic Tetris title for the Game Boy Advance. And it looks like price charting has a loose copy listed at $9.59. Wow, okay, so we are already at almost $25 worth of value after just two items. So we are looking good so far. Next up, filling out the Genesis collection, we've got a copy of Echo the Tides of Time for Sega Genesis. And this one is complete as well. Okay, cool. We've got our first truly complete game after that crash game for Xbox that did not have the manual. Here is one that does. Good deal. All right. And it looks like that is worth about $10.58, which I believe puts us right about at our target price of $35 for the month. And we still have one more game to go, which appears to be a hopefully complete copy, if I can get it out of here, <laughs> of Gears of War for the Xbox 360. And let's just confirm here. Yep, this one is complete as well. We've got the manual as well as an insert. What's the condition here? Oh man, a pristine looking disc. Good deal. I don't know how hard that'll be to see on camera, but very nice copy of Gears of War. Now I'm not thinking Gears of War is worth too much, but let's go ahead and see what our value is. Okay, Gears of War on the Xbox 360. 
Okay, the complete price is $11.69. So we are far and away above our $35 price point, I believe. Let's go ahead and uh, add up each of these together. We've got our PlayStation Eye camera, which we valued at $15.56. We have Tetris Worlds, which is going for $9.59. Echo for Sega Genesis, going at $10.58. And finally, a complete copy of Gears of War for $11.69. That brings us to a grand total of $47.42 for the second box. Much, much better than the first box, at least for value. I'm excited to see, after we cover all of these boxes, what the running average is to see uh, if they're actually worth the value. But so far, I'm pretty happy. This is a nice haul for, uh, for just one month. Very cool stuff. Okay. Let's keep it rolling and get on to the third month. Moving on to box number three. Let's see what we got. Okay, first things first, I see we have a Famicom copy of Challenger. I don't know that I've seen this before. Let's let's look this up and see what this is. Okay, so it's a Hudson Soft title. It is a platforming game. I love platformers. And this is the cool thing about the Famicom. There's a weird sense of nostalgia going back to games that are similar to the ones that you might have grown up on, but on the other hand are completely new experiences, at least to you. Everybody is nostalgic in America for the NES, but there are a lot of cool region-exclusive Famicom titles, so I don't know anything about this game, uh, but as far as the value goes, it looks like Challenger is going for $1.60. So these Famicom titles can be really cool, but they are usually pretty cheap, so that's not gonna do much for us on the value front, but definitely uh, a fun piece to add to the set. All right, and next up, it looks like we have our first sealed game, X-Blaze Lost Memories for PlayStation 3. And I am going to be totally honest, I have no clue what this is. <laughs> it looks like it is some sort of a dungeon crawling visual novel, maybe? Something like that? <laughs> you guys can let me know in the comments if you've played this game, if it's any good. X-Blaze Lost Memories. But I know what you guys are interested in. You guys are interested in seeing what the value is, so... X-Blaze Lost Memories for PS3 is going, oh boy, $18 new. Okay, that is a big jump from this $2 Famicom game. We've now got an $18 PlayStation 3 title. So that is gonna be $18 added to the third month's value. Very cool stuff. Oh, now look at this. Okay, we've got, next up is Bioshock for the Xbox 360. The first title in the Bioshock series. I'm actually playing through this game right now on Steam, but it is super cool to have a console version of this title as well. And look, we've got another complete copy. Perfect. So we have a complete copy of Bioshock, and let's see what that value is. Yeah, not too expensive. Uh, $6. I, I would be liable to pick this up if I saw it while game hunting for that price, but now I don't have to. I had it shipped to my house, so I could add it to my collection without leaving the comfort of my couch. And finally, we have another Xbox title, although this is for the original Xbox. We have Hitman Blood Money. Now, the Hitman series is one that I've heard a lot of good things about. I actually have yet to play any of the Hitman titles. I'm sure the, the fans of the series will be yelling at me in the comments, but now I have an excuse to try it on the original Xbox. Do we have a complete copy here as well? Yes, we do. All right, I like to see that. Let me go ahead and look up its price. And Hitman Blood Money Complete is going for $6.25. So that will wrap up our third box. Let's go ahead and tally up the value. We've got a loose copy of Challenger for the Famicom at $1.60. X-Blaze Lost Memories sealed for $18. Bioshock for the Xbox 360 complete at $5.99. And finally, Hitman Blood Money at $6.25, which brings us to a grand total of $31.84. So we are not quite at that $35 mark again. He's sort of close, we're about $3 away. Not too bad, but once again, we got a huge value out of that second month. So who knows, we might still end up beating the average by the time this is all over. But let's go ahead and move on to our fourth and final box. And here it is. Let's see what we've got. All right, here's another Famicom title. And I actually don't recognize this. I have no clue what this is. I honestly have no clue, but I'll show you how I can figure out what the name of this title is, despite not knowing a bit of Japanese. Up here in the top left corner of the cartridge, you will notice there is a model number for this specific software. So I see HFC-NH, and I'm gonna go over to handy dandy Google and see what we've got. And here we've got what looks to be a match. This is Ninja Hattori-kun Ninja wa Shugyo de Gozaru. All right, that's a mouthful. Let's see what this is. Okay, cool. So it's a Japan-exclusive platformer based on a manga of the same name. 
So once again, we have a region-exclusive Famicom title to add to that growing Famicom collection. I'm not expecting much value out of pretty much any Famicom titles, but let's see what we've got. Ninja Hattori-kun. And it is going for $1.08. So like I said, not much value, but I'm excited to jump into it and see if it's, uh, if it's worth that $1. Now this is pretty dope. It looks like next in our final box we have a copy of Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii. Now, I know some of you are already thinking, how did he not already have this in his collection? I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I've needed to play this game for so long, uh, I just never ended up picking it up. But I am surprised to see a big first-party Nintendo title in one of these boxes. That is pretty cool. Now, it looks like this game is sealed in shrink wrap, but if I'm not mistaken, I think this has been resealed. I don't think we're looking at a new copy here. I think this is probably, at best, complete. But I will take this opportunity to show you why I'm a little bit suspicious and how you can tell if a game has been resealed. So here I've just grabbed a sealed copy of Rhythm Heaven Fever, also for Wii, just to compare it with here. And I was a little bit suspicious because on this Donkey Kong Country box, if you look at the shrink wrap up here, it's a little wrinkled and not too uniform. And if you compare that with an authentic sealed title, You'll notice this copy of Rhythm Heaven has this kind of X shape over here on the corner. You can definitely tell that these two are not exactly the same. Unfortunately for us, that means this cannot be valued as a new title or a sealed copy. So let's go ahead and open it up and make sure that we are dealing with a complete copy. So we'll go ahead and break the seal on this guy. See what we've got. And yes, indeed, we have a complete copy of Donkey Kong Country Returns. And once again, I can tell this definitely is not a new copy. There's a couple of wrinkles on the manual here. It's not in the best shape, but it is better than a loose disc, of course. This is honestly the best thing to come out of these boxes yet, in my opinion. Super cool. Let's see how much value we can add to this box. Oh boy, okay, so this one title is worth $20.67. That almost takes care of the entire box's value with one title. That's awesome. A very welcome addition. And I believe this is our last title here in the bottom, a legitimately sealed copy of Dark for the Xbox 360. Now, I don't know much about this title, but I believe it has to do with vampires? Yeah, you are a shadow in the dark. You are the ultimate hunter. Your name is Eric Bain. You are a vampire. Okay, cool stuff. There's not much for me to say about this one. I don't really know what this is, but for now, let's see how much it's worth. Dark for Xbox 360 sealed is going for $15.31. That is another huge value for us, and that explains why we have three titles in this box as opposed to four or five in the others. So let's go ahead and get the value tally for our fourth and final box. We have Ninja Hattori-kun for the Famicom going at $1.08. A complete copy of Donkey Kong Country Returns, unfortunately not sealed, but still worth $20.67. And finally, a copy of Dark for Xbox 360 at $15.31, which brings us to a grand total of $37.06. So on our fourth and final box, we once again beat that $35 per month threshold. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we may end up having an average value of over $35. So now that we've unboxed everything, let's go ahead and add up all of the boxes that we've had and see if video game subscription boxes are really worth your hard-earned cash. Our first box turned out to be $33.94. Our second month's box rang up at a whopping $47.42. The third box is at $31.84. And our final box was $37.06. Over four months of subscription boxes, it looks like we came up to an average of, drumroll please, $37.56. So it looks like in the end, we are right on target for value, and that is excellent to see. To be honest, I wasn't sure what to expect when setting out to make this video, but I was pretty skeptical that they could reach the amount of value they were advertising. But I was pleasantly surprised. So my verdict is, especially if you're stuck at home right now, video game subscription boxes can be a great way to keep finding new adventures and building that collection. But enough about me, what do you guys think? Do you think this is enough value to warrant the $35 price tag? Are there any titles that caught your eye or anything you wish you could have seen? Make sure to let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you did enjoy the video, please do consider subscribing to Nintendo for all sorts of cool gaming content, and make sure to share it with any friends who might find it interesting. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye!
Hey guys, thanks again for watching and for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you like this one, here are two more videos you might like as well. As always, if you like what I do and would like to help out the channel, I've got a link to my Patreon on the right side of your screen. And otherwise, I hope you look forward to the next one. Take care!